Hi, everyone. It's Linda G. And I thought I'd take a few minutes out to talk to you about some of the latest events. I have to do my Beacons of Balance show today. So, but I wanted to give a quick input about some of the major things sitting in front of us. Uh, Lena Rodriguez did a show yesterday, I think, and she said, don't worry about Congress, not Congress, SCOTUS, not okaying. More than likely, they're going to come through and say, no, you can't uh, prevent uh, Trump from being on the ballot. There's so many things we can argue with that. But what I did say back in my predictions was I felt they would look for something. Can you believe Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh saying, well, doesn't that disenfranchise the me? I was like, hello, who disenfranchised that wanted to, uh, to disenfranchise everyone that voted for Biden? He won by 80 million votes. He wanted they Trump didn't care about disenfranchising. It's not fair, I know, but I, I do see they'll probably lean towards uh, keeping Trump on the ballot. Here's what I want to tell you. That's some of the message I got last night. Don't worry because Trump's going to lose. Doesn't matter what. Okay? That's what I heard. Okay? Ballot, no ballot. He's, he's not going to win. So uh, I'm just going to throw on it real quick. I will tell you, and they were talking about it on the news, had, had SCOTA said, you know, oh, yeah, go ahead and keep them off the ballot, there would have been a lot of, it's terrible. It's not fair. Like when they vote, no, Colorado can't keep SCOTUS off the ballot. SCOTUS, SCOTUS can't vote to keep, Colorado can't vote to keep Trump off the ballot. Okay. So um, there would not be riots in the streets from the Dems, but there would be if it was the vice versa. Just know this, this is gonna work out, okay? Just like Lena said, don't everybody get all your panties up in a bunch. Everything's gonna work out. Um, I do feel that, that uh, immunity thing is not going to slide. He does not have immunity. I would psychically, hold on. There are some people, including the one that shouldn't even be on this because his wife was an insurrectionist. But there are some that will vote that he has full immunity, but I see most of the people saying no. Okay, so tell me about SCOTUS and the 14th Amendment. And listen, yeah, Congress could turn around and say, yeah, but they don't have the they don't have enough people. So it can't be done. So the tower is here. So okay, thank you. So what my guides are saying, this will come to sort of destroy them. Um down the road, this will be an issue that will be brought to the forefront and things. This is going to change everything. Insurrectionists will not be allowed. And like that attorney said, Your Honor, it's been 150 years. No president has ever done with this president. They're acting like, well, if you, they, if you do it, they can do it. No, uh -uh, you got to have reason. And it's crossed by the uh, Ten of Swords or the Ten of Wands. So this is, they kind of stepped their foot in this quicksand. That's what I'm getting, quicksand. I love this, it's so cold out here, 30 degrees. Okay, so we're going to get through this. I just want you to know, we're, we're, we're treading lightly and we'll get to the other side, okay? There's a lot of drama here. And um, actually, Trump had a good day yesterday because that that um, special prosecutor, he uh, said some terrible things about Biden. I'm going to look at him too. I might have to look up his name. That was all political, you guys. He wants to be uh, king of the king of the yard. 
anyway, so um, this is a risky thing they're doing because they're offsetting what should have been done, okay? So I will tell you, um, yeah, Trump is feeling like he had a good day. If we can just lay off of Trump and not go much further, I do see he gets no immunity. I do see that. Um, but now what, what do I tell everybody? Yeah, people, the whole world. I don't know if some of you guys saw that thing I sent you from some show. And um, he was talking about America is like the third rated country as far as free countries are concerned. And, you know, we have all these things we need to fix. And we will be on top. We will be better. But we got some underhanded low life karmic destiny, you guys. I'm so sorry. And this entity, this Trump entity is viciously just trying to eat you know he just wants in fact whoever this guy is and i'll look him up i even see trump saying oh he's going to be my new um ag because you know he does the right but i'll give you the 411 ahead i got on that okay so that's the scotus thing is going to help change so you know this isn't but you know i got cancer and then look what happened to me. It changed the way I looked at things. It changed who I was. It made me start taking the right track and knowing and appreciating my life. And this is what I'm feeling. This energy from Trump is vile and poisonous. So he may think he's one, but he hasn't. Okay. All right. So now... So the special counsel, Robert Herr, put out a scathing report, even though it says, yeah, he's cleared, but, you know, he couldn't remember when his son died, he bliss, he's old, his memory, the guy was brutal. And this was all politically motivated, just, and of course, Fox News is eating it up. Um, you know what's interesting, and there was a, a commentator on MSNBC, and she was so right. You don't see anybody that worked for Biden talking scathingly about him. You don't see people saying he was this and that and a low life. But you sure see a lot of it with Trump, with the ones he thought were his standing by his side. The ones that are taking Trump down are the re Republicans, more so than the Democrats. His own people are turning against him. The people that, you know, because he runs over people. So, but Trump, I think even got a message to her, you know, I'm going to seriously consider you as my new AG when I take office. Now, what I want to know is why didn't, why didn't Garland say anything? Apparently Garland read it before it went out. You know, Garland, God love him, but he's, I don't want to call him a wuss, but he doesn't like to cause issues and this guy this her guy feels like part of the reason he involved politics in this for himself was he didn't want to be you know uh chased down or have everybody turn against him if because he already knew there was no crime here but what does he do to protect himself he talks trash about Biden, and everybody overlooks that he found nothing to uh charge him with but I want to know why Eric Merrick Garland did nothing. Merrick Garland. Merrick, why did you just let that report come out? Somebody else read it. I'm feeling Merrick Garland didn't read it. I'm feeling someone else wrote it. Matt had told Merrick Garland there's some skating stuff on Biden. But who called Nancy Pelosi? Who called um, the one running for office? Called her Nancy Pelosi. Uh, 
she's not going to win, you guys. You saw what happened. And I don't think she's going to win South Carolina. That's a shame. Uh, South Carolina. Okay, let me tell you something. I want you to breathe in. And I want you to know, I don't care what happens from here till, until, unless somebody assassinates somebody. But Biden is going to win as president of the United States. Okay, so let's ask about the top people in the AG. Why didn't they stop that guy from being political? Mr. thinks he's another Comey, adding his two bits in there. It's so funny how they act like they're, they're just for the United States. Of, no, they're not. They could care less. But I do think Comey didn't like Trump. And I do think he tried to stop him from having these personal meetings and stuff. He knew that was a no-no. This guy is more of a, a salesman. He was even talking to people how they would say that Trump, uh, that uh, Biden had no charges, but that they were going to cut him down as they were heading out the door. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Um, it did upset. It did upset Merritt. I'm going to tell you right now, he was on the fence a little bit, but then he didn't want to be accused of interfering. He let it go out and it's thank goodness you guys it's not October because this won't make any difference. And when Biden came out and said what he said, God, God bless him. He came out and said, uh, well, I thank them for not charging me, but I'm going to tell you. When they asked me when my son died, I said, it's none of your damn business. You know, Biden's a squirt. You know what I'm saying? Old country squirt. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't mess. Um, Yeah, this isn't going to hurt, but, you know, I'm going to tell you something. This is going to hurt this guy. Her won't be in his, it, it, be there very much longer. You know, Merrick Garland tried to go out of his way to get only Republicans to deal with a lot of stuff, but this is going to, this guy definitely did a, 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 a negative. It wasn't right. But like I said, who's writing books about Biden and how, oh my God, I worked with him and he was, out of his mind or he was this or he was throwing ketchup at the wall or he takes a lot of drugs and no uh -uh. so yeah okay i'm very happy about that i just wanted to tell you do you remember how my guides always said remember honor honor biden has honor trump does not and honor is going to to win Yes, Biden is not the same Biden he used to be, and he's older, but what are we going to do? You can't switch in midstream now. Biden is going to win only because he's not cray-cray like, what's his name? And he won't become a dictator. Okay, so um, uh, I wanted to talk about the president mentioning about he's warned Netanyahu, you know, don't go into that. There's a particular town where a lot of Palestinians are at. He wants them all removed in a safe place. Netanyahu doesn't take any advice. I'm going to tell you, you guys, not very good. So what's the outcome of this assault? I'm almost, okay, thank you, thank you. I just got a flash. This is weird. But you know that drop the mic thing? I saw Biden dropping the mic, which means I'm done with you. So I'm feeling like he, I don't even see, you know, we're giving billions to, to, uh, to Israel to help for years before even this. But I'm seeing they're going to say, no, you, you know, you just can't indiscriminately kill innocent citizens. You can't do that. And then Yahoo's got a taste in his mouth. Like I'm so close, I'm close, so close to destroying. Um, so what, give me the outcome. But I see Biden do this, like drop the mic, like dude, there's just too many people dying. I see a lot of little terrorist things going on. Iran is, it's not the people of Iran, but the, you know, the cray craze. 
planning on these attacks, but I see the FBI just keeps stopping it. So I don't know what they're planning, but I see them trying to plan something. It'll be announced, you guys. Mark my words. Okay, so yeah, Ten of Swords. This isn't good, you guys. Um, God is looking out for them. There's a higher realm energy here. Five of Swords. So no, this isn't going to work out for Netanyahu. I just see all kinds of people in Israel deciding, no, we don't want you, dude. You know, you didn't listen to anybody. And I see Israeli army people dying too, which they don't want their people to die either. This is going to be, this is going to get kind of bloody. There will be after this Netanyahu trying to make nice. So he'll do a ceasefire. So they can exchange um, uh, the kidnapped people. So a lot of the kidnapped people are already gone. I'm sorry to say that. I do see another exchange happening, but it's it's uh, it's oh, there's more bloodshed. I'm so sorry, you guys. I hate seeing that. I hate seeing that. As agreed upon from the realm. There's a lot of UFO sightings over there. I don't know if anybody's read on that. I know and um I know over with Zelensky, there's a lot of in his in his country, but there's a lot of UFO people watching. The universe doesn't like all those souls coming over at once. It's not right. Oh God, people are starving. It's terrible. Okay, so. This is not the right way to go, is what someone just said to me. Um, he's almost, and please, you know, if you're a Netanyahu fan, I'm sorry to, to break this to you. He's got a taste in his mouth for power. Like, it's like he wants to run out the Palestinians. He's got a taste in his mouth. And remember, he knew before Israel got hit by... Um, got hit by the terrorists he knew this way before and they're trying to sweep it under the rug like yeah well anyway they hit us so yeah there's a lot of ugliness there you guys i'm so sorry but there'll be another big bang and then i see like i'm almost wondering if they pick him by the scruff of his neck and walk him out the door and they're going to work with people that are better able to sort this out he's it's not good, you guys. It's not good for, can I just throw real quick on Netanyahu? Sorry. Tell me about the outcome of Netanyahu. I see the outcome of this upcoming venture in that city. Tell me about Netanyahu. A lot of people are leaving on their own. And the terrorists aren't helping them either, kind of making them stay. It's it's pretty ugly. Netanyahu is, is making his own bed, you guys. He's making his own bed and he's going to have to sleep in it, as prophesied. Oh, my God, does he have a lot of swords. Something is really going to push back on him. Something is happening. I, I mean, I wouldn't doubt if he gets injured or something. Um. His head is up in the clouds. And I got the Wheel of Fortune. I got it reversed, which means he's not going to, you know, for a while there, remember how Trump had that lucky streak? Netanyahu doesn't have it. Netanyahu's going downhill. I wouldn't doubt before the year's up that he's gone. Okay. So we did Netanyahu. Now... that special prosecutor we did, Robert Herr. Can I just take a quick look, see on the outcome for Robert Herr? Haley is her name, the one that's running. She's she's a nobody. Everybody was nervous about her because she could beat Biden. Biden's going to win. Haley. And I want to look at 
if we actually get the trial for one six. I got to tell you something I hit on SCOTUS too. Um, Robert Hur first I'll do. Robert Hur, what's the outcome for him? Oh, he's not, he's going to be pissed when Trump, Biden wins again. Not very good. I mean, he's beloved by the people within his organization, but look at this. He, he made his bed. He has to sleep in it. He made his bed. He has to sleep in it. Um, What's going on with you? Ooh, everybody's getting this four of swords. So he might write a book or something. He might write a book, but he's not going very far. He's going to be taken out when uh, the new administration starts. Okay. Um, I wanted to tell you, SCOTUS, I had this flash, and I just want to tell you what the flash was. You know how even... Our people, the good people, were acting like they were agreeing with Kavanaugh and everybody. I felt like that was a setup. I felt like they're almost willing to allow this to not slide, to slide, but come this, in fact, they're talking amongst each other, almost like an agreement, but come the immunity thing, which they know is coming, they, they know they're going to either push it away and not look at it or it's uh, or they'll take it but they're not going to vote in favor of Trump. I saw that. Now let me look at uh Justice Thomas said now not recusing himself. I had no right to ask one question. Tell me about Justice Thomas. I'm sorry to ask so much but I, just let me know what I should know. Ooh, the tower is coming for Thomas. I don't think this is somebody telling them, get out of your seat. I think this is a health thing that's gonna happen. Or even the fact that they're gonna turn around and petition his wife. Um, see, he thinks he's king for a day. He walks around like he's indestructible. He took on too much and he's about ready to pay the piper. Uh, communication is reversed. Um, projects, uh, stressful. Nine of cups and his hopes, dreams of wishes, which is reversed. Look at the outcome card, you guys. The three of swords. Something is come. Could even be as soon as March. Mark my words. Could even be as soon as March. Something is coming up. I do see Biden uh, putting another justice in there sooner than later. Okay, so I see Thomas exiting stage left. I didn't hit Yahoo. Now, the Putin interview. I didn't watch the Putin interview. My daughter wrote me and said, Mom, I heard it was really bad. Um, I can't stand Tucker Carlson. I can't stand to look at that constipated face. Plus, he needs a little Botox right here. Do you see those two big lines? Um, his voice. I, I, I just it's like watching Trump. I can't deal with that. Apparently, according to my daughter, you guys would know. Um, Putin walked out because he didn't like the questions, but there was something. Well, almost like some threat that Putin may have made, made. When when Trump loses, he may threat some more, but he's going almost the same time as Trump. But I want you to know that whatever he's saying, like that one lieutenant of his saying, "Well, we're gonna we're gonna bomb the hell. It's the end of the world now." Mm -mm. Anyway, the ETs will stop that, and I'm not wishing. I'm telling you. They have permission to come in and make sure we don't get destroyed. So tell me about the interview with Tucker Carlson. Will that make any? I just see that Fox News trying to sweeten up everything. Uh, 
Oh, and here's another thing I got ahead. Trump would have said that the whole thing is rigged and look what they're doing to you. And, and there's a good amount of people that want Trump. So they would have all been up in an uproar. You're not allowing us to vote for our guy, even though it doesn't matter that he was just going to take away the votes of other people. So um, it, they've set something ugly for themselves and the cups is reversed, which means it's not going to be accepted as something lovely or intelligent. And I think Putin is mad at Tucker, which is weird. Like almost get out of my country. I don't know what he said. I'll have to find out. Um, a lot of it was bull. A lot of it was dream stuff. Junk, trying to act like, no, we didn't do anything to um, Ukraine. Um, trust your instincts. Ooh, ooh, somebody's going down. Something, this is not going, this is a nothing burger. I just want you to know. But let's take a quick look, see it. Just, let's just really do it. I can't be on very long. I got to do my beacons of balance show. But I just want to ask about, give me the outcome of Putin. I have three more questions. Outcome of Putin, outcome of Tucker, and I want to know about the January 6th trial. Outcome of Putin. Give me the outcome of Putin. He's going to be hiding, trying to stay low, grabbing all his money. Um, split second decision. Something's going to happen, you guys. Something's getting ready to come up. Battles go away, but it's bad. I see fires and battles within Russia. I wonder what that is. See, he's got such a firm hand. Um, hold on real quick. The world is against him. The Ten of Swords. Oh my God, you guys. Um, the outcome is the Knight of Swords. So there's some sort of money issues coming up within Russia that's going to hurt Putin. Maybe they'll find out that he took money. Is he going to win as the president? Because you know that's already rigged. Will Putin win as president in March? I heard yes. Thursday. I'm not even going to throw on it. Usually when my guide says yes. Yeah, there's nobody that's going to be able to overtake it. He cheats, doesn't matter what. Okay, so tell me about Tucker Carlson. What is this going to do for his career? See, they were showing Tucker Carlson on the um, the Russia uh, videos uh, in Russia because he was pro-Putin. He's finding out. Let me tell you something. I'm going to turn this light off. He's finding out. He's finding out that, uh, ooh, I even see him being a little nervous. He's finding out that Putin is like, you either be a yes man or you're a no man. Uh, but there's some couple of things that happened that kind of shook Tucker up. He definitely didn't have any right to be king for a day on that show. Um. They are putting it on the Russian news and acting like it was a great show. But I feel him getting hit by something. So tell me about Tucker. Yeah, he's going to have to go in himself and try to review this later. This wasn't good for his soul contract. Um, he actually made some money from this. Don't tell me Putin or somebody paid him money to do this. He might even went over there to ask for money for Trump. Ten of swords in his house, you guys. It's not good at all. He'll be watched, you guys. Yeah, he made money off of this. He went there because he needed the money. It had nothing to do with trying to help uh, uh, Putin. He's kind of a has-been. He'll be juggling products, pro projects, but he's like a has-been. Nobody's interested in hearing from him. Let me tell you, when Biden wins again, it's just going to offset all this drama. And what are they going to do? Rigged again? Jesus. Okay, let's look at Jack Smith. Jack Smith. Is it Jack Smith? Or Jack? 
Hold on. Oh, sorry, you guys. I went on my phone and thought I had put this on pause. Sorry to waste your time with your wait, Jack Smith. And by the way, Eileen Cannon is counting her days for exiting. She's done something. I don't know why I just got that hit, but Eileen Cannon is getting ready to TikTok, you guys. So let's look at January 6th. And I've been hearing from Andre. That's who's calling me. Um, uh, him and I will be doing a show tomorrow, probably around four or five. We'll see. I might have something else I have to do. But I'll be sure to get on with him. Right. January 6th trial. Coming up. May. May. I heard May. Will Donald Trump be found guilty? Yes. I saw a big yes. I have to be careful because I don't want to wish it, you know. Sun is shining outside. It's so nice. And next Thursday, we start ringing for like eight days. Um, yeah, the government and God will see this through. There's God sitting on the throne. You know what I'm saying? Saying, hey, dude. Oh, hell no. Um, 10 of cups. So Jack is going to be very happy with the way it's in, and it will end. Oh, this is like ending the career of Trump. This will end this debate about insurrection because the judge will prove beyond a reasonable doubt that what he did was, even though they say it's a Democrat and it's Biden, Biden wasn't in office when that happened. So wait for it. Know that justice will be served. And rapid gains. So bada bing, bada boom. It even could be by August. I don't know why I heard May, but I even feel like by August we could have guilty, Your Honor. Guilty as charged. You know, because they it's it's uh, juries that help decide this. It's not just uh, him on his own. So let's just take a quick look, see of our Jackie Poop, and let's just make sure he's okay. Maybe I should send him some cookies. Jack, how are you doing? Tell us how you're doing. Oh, and I got some bad news on Lulu, guys. First of all, she's getting her tooth pulled because she cracked it next week, $3,000. And I just spent 1000 for both of them to get well baby uh, shots, et cetera. But Lulu had extra because they were thinking the bloody stool, which is still a problem was a urine infection and her urine is clear. And then I felt a big mass over on her right hand side, kind of, it's not hard at all. It's like sw swollen. So we have to have an ultrasound done by a specialist. I'm really dreading this, you guys, she's eight years old. If I lose her, I don't know what Jack would do. Let's look at how our Jackie Poo is doing. I don't know why, but every time he flashes in my mind, <laughs> I think a subway. Okay, so he's up and running. You know what I'm saying? Oh, they think that one guy with his negative talk about Biden was a hit. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. No. And Jack don't have to go out there and criticize. Jack will just make it happen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So he's getting all his ducks in a row. And this is, uh, he's involved some other really high rated, skillful people. Um, he's, um, he doesn't have to worry about money. I see money being thrown at whatever he's doing, taking care of business. Remember how poor M Mueller, Trump did everything in his power to not help him get to the truth. And that was really hard on Mueller. People were upset with Mueller, but I'm telling you, he was like being harassed. Here's Biden. Here's our presidente. 
the sun, he will clear the, he will clear the energy. So this is going to happen before the boating. I should probably just ask, look at this. Trust your higher self. Know that the realm is looking after us. I should just ask and see if you guys don't mind. And I've asked more than once and they don't like me to keep asking. But let's just say, will Donald Trump even run for president or will he win the election? Give me a set of cards that I can understand what you're saying. Well, Donald Trump. Okay, here we go. Well, Donald Trump, his star is reversed. Karma is a bitch. Um, he's crossed by one minute he's on, the next minute he's off. Um, what does this woman have to do with something? There's a woman here. He's really trying to get money, people needing money from people. Hold your ground. Hold your ground in the house, which is the nation. There's options and success, but I don't think that's related to him. Tradition, traditional. So Biden is traditional. He is not. So the outcome is, is the, the swords, the two of swords. It's funny. They're not specifically saying Oh, yeah, they're saying no, sorry. No, he'll get blown out of his tower. He's not going to win. He might not even be up because it's going to boom. I love it. I love it. Okay, you guys. So I'm, I'm checking out and I'll be back on, maybe even do a show. Well, no, uh, um, Andre and I are going to do a show. Okay, so I'll talk to you guys Saturday. Cheers.